Okay, I promised lights on this video, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. Um, we're just going to dump a few lights in here, and then if you wish to go light crazy, go ahead and knock yourself out. Um, hang on, let me turn on the TV. I'm watching We Bought a Zoo. Really cool movie if you've never seen it. Okay, we're in the ceiling plan. Go to Component. Go to Load Family. Go down to uh, Lightings. Architectural. Internal. And then you're going to go to the... 2x4. Alright, this is your main light. Go ahead and spacebar to rotate. Maybe. Nope. I guess I have to rotate these the hard way. Alright. Um, I'm just going to start with dumping one because it doesn't ever position right. Once you get one in and you can move it in the right place, all you have to do is go to copy. You click it. You press enter. Oops, nope, 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 nope. Click it. I'm going to go, not copy the clipboard, this copy right here, the one with the two circles. Click this, click a corner, and now you can start dumping them wherever you'd like. I believe when you click copy, you can click multiple. Now I can start to do this everywhere and not feel like I have to keep clicking, clicking, clicking. So... If you want to do a bunch in here, component, I'm going to dump one, click it, rotate, click up here where it's at kind of 180, go down to 90, now it's in the right place. Ooh, I got lucky. Now I can take this and I can just start making a ton of these. In fact, if I really try hard enough, I can probably make an array out of it. That will work. So let's say I want to do uh, eight. Say so I want to click on the ten foot while I'm here. I guess I did too many because it went outside of it. So array, click here, enter. I'm going to click the middle. Go over. Let's go eight feet this time. Now two. Let's go five. Uh, okay, enter, and there we go. So, quick way of doing it, if you want to add more lights, go ahead and knock yourself out. I'm not going to spend a lot of this video doing that because I have enough to do. So, All right, so start adding lights around the place, and then you'll be good to go. Use the array tool. It'll save you a ton of time. But if you want to do this side and this side, now real quick, if I want to do all these, the quickest way in the world to do this is to just do the mirror command. I have to get some in. So, all right. Good luck on doing lighting. Put them in the first and third level mainly. If you want to do second, go ahead. But second floor is guys kind of could be this like empty warehouse. So, all right. Um, next, we're going to do the the curtain walls, which is one of my favorite parts. So we're going to do this on the south elevation. Okay. If you're following along in the book, I'm skipping most of chapter seven. Most of it's about elevations. Um, and changing things in elevations. You guys should know how to do that by now. I'm not going to spend any, any extra time on this that I need to. Uh, that way we can get to the, if I can call it, the juicy stuff. So, I am jumping all the way to... Once my fingers decide to turn the page. Doing the curtain windows, which is exercise 5-7-5. So I highly recommend you guys go there. So, um, we're going to go to your south elevation. Your book says south temp. It's the exact same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to split hairs here. All right, so here we go. We're, you're going to click on the curtain grid first. All right? And then you need to dump one, two, three, four, five mullions or grids in here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Don't worry about measurements yet. The reason why I don't use an array is because it will cause an issue later on. So change each to five space four. Okay. So click here. Five space four. Yes, this is a little tedious, but this is the only way I know how to do it. So five space four. Click here. Five space four. And last but not least, five feet four inches. Okay. So do that, please. 
and then um, go back to the video so we can keep going on this. Okay. Okay. Next step. Sorry, I jumped back and forth here. I'll get to where I need to be. Okay. So next step here, curtain grade again. Click on the top of this. Oops. Cancel. Sorry. Click on this one here and this one here. So those are now grids. Then there and there. And there, so they each be four inches, four feet above, four, four, four. If you got that, you're set. Uh, okay. We also need to put it on the other two views too. Um, I'll show you the easy way to do this. If you switch to 3D, once my computer decides to fully get caught up to me, you'll notice how you have a grid system here. Okay. Here's how you're gonna do this next part. Uh, curtain grid, all you have to do is match these. So if you line them up with these, you, you can easily go ahead and click on all of these like so. Okay. And that's for these in here. I'm going to just click in here like I did last time. Just going to do two here. Click on the side. Go five feet, four inches. Click on this one. Five feet, four inches. And I guess I need one more to make it a bit more even. And yeah, there's going to be a little bit of a small gap there, but that's fine. Okay, so there we go. Go to the other side and do the same thing over here. So, curtain grid. Um, there. There, there, that's really hard to see. There, oops. There, okay. And then just go ahead and add these three just like last time, okay. I'm going to redo it because I did make a little bit of, mis uh, of a mistake when I did this. So, um, one, two, three. Click them as your measurements. And then we should be good. Make sure you click the next one. Otherwise, you're just going to keep changing the previous one. And that gets really, really annoying. Okay. All right. Millions are created. Next step, at, or the grid system, now add mullions. Mullions are very simple. Just go grid lines, click each one. Then go through and if you probably press all grids, it might be faster, but I've already committed myself, so this is just what the book says, so I'm just going to keep going with what the book says and not trying to adjust too much. The last time I did this, I, I had issues when I tried to think outside the box. Okay. Millions are done. Good job. Um, now, like anything else, need a front door. Here's how you're going to do this. Okay, this is going to be really weird, so I need you to follow me step by step. Here's what you're going to do. I need you to load a door. We're going to load family. Click doors and click single glass curtain wall and just press open. We're not going to load it though. We're just going to load it. Okay. I need to put my mouse over this wall, this part of this door right here, or this window. Keep going around and pressing tab probably on the straight line until you can click it. Then this will activate this menu. I'm going to scroll down to where I see my single curtain wall glass. I'm going to click this. And believe it or not, you just put a door in. If you're questioning it because it didn't change very much, click on level one and you'll see how you have a door here now. That's what's important. Okay. So next we're going to do the same thing to this one right here. So I'm going to put my mouse on this wall here. Press tab. Click. Click on uh, this system here click curtain wall glass and believe it or not it did change it's just not that obvious okay 
Now, if you want to remove this mullion right here, you can click on it and press delete and it will erase it. So it actually looks like a door. So there's not like a middle bar right here. All right, so go ahead and do that real quick. And then you got the door done. Okay, um, I think we're finished with the mullions. So that was not too hard. If you click on south elevation, you'll actually see your doors a little bit clearer. This is how they're supposed to look. If you don't like how they're flipped, flip them around. I really don't care. All right. So this video is now complete. I'm not going to add any more to this. Uh, the next one, let's pray it works, is on the design options. So exercise 7-6. Let's pray I can get this one knocked out because that one's going to be very challenging. So uh, thank you and good luck on the next video.